Welcome back to Tibbs Farm. I'm Tibbs, and today I think we're just gonna do a little bit of a progress report. Show how much land is getting cleared out. Sorry about the fat lip. Uh, my youngest playing a little harsh. Threw her head back, and my face was right there to catch it. So, yep, been dealing with that. Some of you that have been here before and been following through the journey might recognize the trees that I cut down and kind of laid out. This is kind of where I started filming this journey, moving pen over. So I believe this would have been my second pen that I showed y'all. And then there and here here then there then there and then the goats were just now back there but if you all remember it used to look like that real thick not open like this so we've come a long way in short amount of time So much so that even from where the goats were for their two week span right here, you can clearly see not just that root ball, but that root ball. And I got last week's pen moved. I don't think I'm gonna be using the goat and sheep net for the goats anytime soon. Felix is able to get through the holes. Um, I had gone put him on a much larger box to go and scare him again. But as soon as I moved that box, he's like, oh, okay, I can get out. But here's last week's pen without the net. And yeah, I do still need to clean up this little area right here. And all of that brush, we haven't made it out to get a burn barrel. So, and with all these trees and not having enough time on the weekend to actually get the chainsaw out some weekends, it becomes kind of difficult finding spots right now because I'm getting to that part where there's trees literally littering just about everywhere I want to move the goats but I have them in between two down trees and this is the first time that I didn't have a tree to put their hay feeder on so Mrs. Tibbs went and gave me the idea let's just get some t-post and try to set it up on that and it's working fairly well. Definitely need to add more hay to it. Need to clear out the consumed brush and find more air, more brush to go and get them. And I'm running out of it. I got little bits here. I might have to go down there and check what that is. But. I don't think I can give the goats any of these leaves right here. Um, the name of the tree is... <sighs> it's escaping me right now. But it's... I don't know. It's In my brain, there's a red flag about that particular type of leaf saying don't do it. I might be wrong, might be a little too cautious. If I am, correct me. If you guys know what the tree is, go ahead and correct me. But I'm not going to get any of these type of trees for the goats because my brain's saying those are off limits to the goats. I do still have some more regular brush back behind it, but... There's a lot of debris in the way, so I'll figure something out. 
Right, Nibbler? And there's Felix, as always, just chewing away. Well, I should probably get to tossing their uh, breakfast in here with them. Getting them some more water, getting them more hay, and getting them more greens. <laughs> Hair's all goofy. Um, this weather's ridiculous. Reminds me of uh, another video that I recently saw where they were joking about weather in the south in the uh, winter time frame. Winter. Uh, high of 76, the 20% chance of snow. Yeah. Well, you saw how I was dressed earlier, all bundled up, and now it's too hot to have any of that on. And hair's getting all sweaty, so you had to take that all off. Down here by the big pond, and the ducks have found it, and the geese have found it, and one has been brave enough to jump on in. So... That's the first time that the geese have actually got to the water since they've been here on the property. And let me go and give y'all a quick look at that and then show you guys the pigs' new pen and their old pen. So here's the big pond. And there's the one brave goose. And there's the three others. Let me zoom in. They're rather bright in that sunlight. And there we go. Focus. Muscovy's absolutely love the water. Humphrey, he's he's doing Humphrey things. And the baby chunks are actually down here where there used to be an old dock. It's kind of still there, but eh, whatever. They're having fun. And here's the three little pigs. Let's see if I can back up far enough to actually get a good shot of their pen. So here's their pen this week, and here's their pen from last week. They got cleaned out fairly well. So, as far as this upcoming week, not sure if we're going to go one more down, or if we're going to start going that way and kind of zigzagging because the property goes that way much further than it does that way. Before I wrap up for today, I wanted to show you a quick glimpse at the surrounding area of the goat pen. So there is a lot of dead branches and whatnot from fallen tree that literally I went through and just stomped on a bunch of this stuff got it kind of mushed down close to the ground maybe it'll start breaking down a little easier and we can actually see the goats a little bit better over this root ball that didn't completely come down but goats got topped off hey I moved the placement of where I was laying the brush down it's like directly behind the bush or the cube because I have some bush and tall grass down there that I kind of want them to trample and I do have some uh, tree leaves and whatnot down there for them to get to trying to encourage them to walk around down there that'll wrap it up for today and as always have a good day